care who you are. Should have been Micah. Can you, can you fuck off, please? Like, pretty please. Oh, oh, oh no. San Denis. San Denis is looking for a new seamstress. Marie says she hasn't been paid in about a month. I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood. Shady Bell. Huh? I mean, I guess that one's right there. Either way, I'm gonna have to go out of the way for all of them. All this civilization. Oh, after I rescued this bar. Looking for a man called Bronte. You heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Mm. Okay, never mind. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself, he's got quite the reputation. Hey! Hey there, friend! Listen, uh, just between us, you, you haven't been telling people about the, uh, that little situation you helped me out with, have you? Shit. What can I get you? Just something I'd rather not people know what about. Hard enough maintaining my reputation in this part of town without rumors of uninvited guests nope not me ain't got no business oh he's not the really fancy one mm -hmm. hello mister okay there This doesn't feel like a, a western game anymore. There's street lights and cable cars and pianos. It's kind of spooky looking. Kind of spooky. Stick him up, cowboy. Uh oh, there was no one standing there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in the strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't Can had you any go. joy in just, there so just far. Go, so go lay down. I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. Howdy, everybody! Well... <laughs> that's not weird or anything. <laughs> It's funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. <coughs> America's me. dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Oh, Over here. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Oh. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. 
dollar, oh. please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. I didn't want to give him two bucks. Mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Mm-hmm. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend. That entire. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Anyway, um, entire interaction change from day to night or night to day. I'm impressed. I've been in this situation. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Can't even say thank you. So you done with the silent treatment now? No. <laughs> Very good at the whole treatment, are you? Complete, huh? Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, my friend. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Mm -hmm. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on then. You know the city, it. mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on a famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That no, fellow no. was angry. No, goddammit. Come on, move your ass. Here's my fucking horse. Sirs, are you mad? Oh, Bye, Mr. 
Get up, Arthur. Fuck. Can I shoot this kid? talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> ah. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. <sighs> There's a bunch of kids I want to <gasps> shoot. Hey, stop it. No, shut up. I'm mad. Got ran over by a train, got punked by some kids. It's fucking high school all over again. Hey Dutch, thanks for making a fucking appearance. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. <laughs> Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I got robbed by a bunch of 
children. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Civilization. Buenos días. Yeah. Hey, cuidado. Out of the way. Very upset. It should have been Micah. Are you kidding me again? What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <laughs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? Old Workforce. ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <laughs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Now, I unfortunately cannot pull out that picture because YouTube would forbid the content, blah, blah, blah. However, I will inspect it thoroughly for a very long period of time from the comfort of my bathroom later. I think we can all agree on that. Just a bunch of fucking drunk people laying around all over. Welcome to Sacramento! No, I'm kidding. This place is cleaner. Trains could be lucrative robbing targets. Oh, excuse me, bud! Morning. Howdy. Come on. Nope. Fuck, I'm walking around. 
Yes. yes. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? <laughs> yes, that <laughs> is. Wow. Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy at Rhodes. <sighs> How does this guy just fucking get all over the place? Another stranger just fucking pops up out of nowhere, I guess. Well, he has walking all the way over. You can come to me, I'll meet you halfway. Thank you. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. No. I'm a child of God. No one has to come to your vaginal sorcery. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? My, what have the poor ever done for me? I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but... Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well... Weird that it's raining right now. It's I'm training him again. I, I thought we had banished that. But Sandy Nee is acting as a staging post. They're shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take oh, that's for crazy. Because the game made 10 years ago is going to be corner? set in 1912. The the oh. They say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Or is it like... Help the poor. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Uh, looking for anything in particular? Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Mm -hmm. Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. Okay. I 
figure that I'm not gonna find one. Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I, I'm afraid they're just a few old books. Something don't seem right. No. Oh. Uh, what are you doing back there? Who's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door, now! Oh, okay, okay, just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm really not a bad man. Cállate, cállate. ¿Quién es? Hello. Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Why didn't I shoot that guy? Man, if only Armando was here to translate for me. Glad to see you again, sir. In there? I wouldn't pull him out of an early grave. Okay, no, sir. Maybe see you again. Look at that. It stopped raining. Brother, Brother Dawkins' friend, Arthur. Arthor Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh, yes. Thank you, I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Okay. <laughs> Is that my hat? Come from. Okay, sir. I should probably take care of him. He's not feeling too well. All right, let's go talk to him. Nice. 
Mister. Hello, sir. Can you just, like, we're not there yet. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so <laughs> we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Well, Dutch. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. <laughs> we just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? What's this guy think he is, God? Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman, Angelo Bronte. 
<laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn, uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> no, I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Well, look at that. It's night time. Hey, boy. So, pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. The story I demands it. The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Why are you troubling me, huh? Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. I don't understand. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Let's go, boy. Why did he walk in here? Someone's here somewhere. Come on. When my time comes, Arthur. 
make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Yeah. 
God fucking damn it. Jesus fucking Christ! No shit, John dies. How'd that first cop even fucking see me? Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's not. Let's go this way, jackass. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Let's go around the side. Uh, what? That's all. Are you fucking sucking my nuts right now? It's all over. Oh my god. I won't miss this headshot. Oh my god! Let's get him! Damn it. 
Get there. What? <laughs> We're going back. Are you fucking sucking my nuts right now? <sighs> Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Why? Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there and collect our side of the deal. You all right? No, I, I really just want to get to the end of the first game. If you, you know what I mean. Talking about something? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said. Would you see where we're at once we got Jack? Yeah, this city could suck it. I am not paying 300 friggin... What's the debt? And I ain't paying 335 for nothing. Pain in my goddamn ass. Let's get this done. Took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, on, just simple country boys. Are they starting to hate hey. Dutch? Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Where's my fucking hat? I don't have All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. 
Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not uh. another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. That'll be a good time to stop playing, because I'm already frustrated. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Well, well that was uncomfortable to watch. We met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well. Let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Yep. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. What? Nobody wants to use the house? Or is it scary? Suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yeah, it was good talking to you. You're growing on me, kid. Oh, I got plenty of food. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Where is it's downstairs? Are you kidding me? Dutch and Arthur. He 
old guard. A merry relief. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, I'll let you find folks. Where's my bed? I apparently don't have a bed. Where is my bed? One of these days we'll get you singing. Oh, you don't want to hear that, I promise. If you say so. Oh, but I do have Maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Where's my fucking bed? Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was. Well, a bitch. I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> Mr. The Bell? There was a riot. Had fun yeah, robbing graves, I hear. But yeah, the, that's the more your style. <laughs> he shot the roof. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. Where's my bed? Take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. You're right about that. Fuck, it's my bed. Where the? Just getting my drink off first. Okay. Oh, shit. 
Good times, Pearson. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna be okay, Mr. Morgan. See if you feel the same in the morning. Boy, I'm a lady. A lady, well bred, not some trollop off the street you can pick up your head where is my fucking bed? Sleep in any bed. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. What, Arthur? And to see a smile on your mama's face again. You awake yet? What do you want? I want to find my bed. You hassling me even when I'm asleep now? Load it back up.
run to the end of the freaking street. Any of my stuff is. All right. Why did I drink that much? Stupid asses. And I still can't freaking see. The ledger. Is that the ledger? so bad. It fucking hurts. It really hurts. Oh, this is painful. Oh, my room's up here. That would have been nice my to know. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie's thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Because you were hope. Why didn't you change? And be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Because I'm a man. Life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. Well, you're young. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed. Yeah, I don't care. I haven't used my bow much. Okay. I'm getting so tired of this. I'm about to give this game about two more minutes of not telling me what I need to know before I throw something through a fucking roof. Sleeping, Arthur. 
They're bothering you, Uncle. Nothing to buy. Fine. Well, I'm gonna contribute to this fucking camp anyways. No, 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 wrong button. I meant to press Y. God, I'm so glad I only have to put up with this for so much longer. Has to be an easier way. There's got to be a better way. Really? <sighs> That's not a fucking option anymore. I already contributed to the camp. See you, huh? Well, I thought I saw a gator. Oh. My god.
Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. Oh. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> Uh, this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Okay. Been waiting on me the longest. Mary Bell. Morning. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but. But we're still alive. Mm. Uh, so, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real of problem. We do. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? Oh, what God. are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Oh. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know hmm. what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But, like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? 
You do care, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were fish. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Yeah. Whoa. What you want? Time, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> Right, pull out your gun. <laughs> Fucking moron. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the boat. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right. Get after them. So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. Damn it. You're coming with pleasure. <sighs> I completely missed what he did, but okay. Appaloosa. Let's go for a ride. You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? Watch her now. Go to hell. She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. <sighs> this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl, damn coward. All right, all right, damn it. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. 
I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. All right, you. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. Uh, town. Well, yeah, can't loot his body now. Ain't nobody there. Shut up. Sir, good morning. Drop in. I've got that uh information you asked for. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. I said I wasn't going to do that. Good morning to you. How do you do? Quite some poster, eh? If I looked like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. I have to tell right. that fella is farming the swamp. Or trying to. Up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Hmm. Oh, they gotta be so out of the way. Oh, what do you know? I'm in roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah, 
What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean yeah. off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. <laughs> Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Well, where are they? Poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? This what you wanted? Have this. It's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? <laughs> leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Man, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. So will I just walk up on one of these posters, or...? Interesting. Come on. Can I get a ride? So, where are you going? I. Well, suit yourself. Holler, change your mind. Pardon me. I've seen it all now. Damn, horse. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us. 
As a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. I wonder if that's Sean. <sighs> Should have been Micah. For Christ's sake. Ooh, this is not. Not a dinosaur. What the hell is that supposed to be? Hey, wait up there. Black hell, I'm stopping. Stop, I ain't playing here. I mean it, stop right now. Go, darn foundation. I should have shot him. You hold up a second. What's all this? I was hoping for a ride to town. I ain't gonna deal with this. Okay, next next horse or carriage I see. That'll be the one. Jesus. Might as well just car fucking get the rest of the way there. I've quite literally been running, doing nothing for the last 20 minutes. Hold up there, mister. I ain't listening. Okay, you know what? That's it. Should have just stopped. Oh, and the horse fucking runs off. Are you kidding me? Are you act Good girl. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Eddie, please. 
Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. I can't do it, Daddy. He's spent. Let him rest. My son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy. Boy, come in. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't I ain't gonna point. fight you in front of my family, okay? If you wanna take me, take me. Look what we got here! Leave my daddy alone! Billy, leave it! Take me. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. With that, just remember what I said, boy. Every time, all right, buddy. Sorry, I gotta borrow your horse. <laughs> Point and all that. Could have got your neck broke. Premature. There he is! Like force him! All right, Dan. Let him go back! Go! No! No! No more gangs, alright? I think that's all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you. Just be real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. I've made my peace. Okay. Hold on. Won't be long till we're in roads. Interesting enough. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of it. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick.
Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a great. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Uh, maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. Soon enough. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad, they worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe, gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. Hey, mister. And Samson Black was set you up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. You call me a gossip? You wish me for no. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Oh, no, you don't. Get down from there. Look at you. You're a joke. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get confused about that. Hold on. What's this all about? I don't have time for this. Just go. What you saw, you forget about it. Or I'll find you. What in blue blazes are you after here? I won't ask you again. I hear you. Consider now, don't go with. bleeding about oh, this to me. That bastard's a real problem. <laughs> we got one more poster. Thank you. <clears throat> Back to living my life. Where is this final poster? Hello, mister. How do you do, sir? Not fat man. That's all I could do for today.